All right, everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Ring of Pain, the Time Weaver update. What an illustration. That's some freaky business. So it's got mid-run saving, choosable scrolls, more enemies to fight, 15, new, 15 or more new items, observe mode, which lets you take a look at things. I'm just gonna, let's just leave this on normal. I'm, I'm kind of rusty. I haven't played this game in some time. And let's start with, oh, gosh, probably a, a point of defense. Go from here. Splash damage? I could go for the other stuff, but splash damage goes a long way. Especially with all this extra defense I'm rolling. Wow, we're in a good spot. Obviously, these guys are a little bit more damaging, but whatever. Is normal. There we go. So far, so good. And... Ooh. Slower speed. Petrify. I'm going to go for the Tome of Stillness. I don't remember that. I'm going to turn the sound effects down a little bit. There we go. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Screen shake, camera, parallax. I haven't actually ever looked. At oh, fast game speed. I'm going to pop that on. I played this a lot. Oh, and remove attack flashes. That might be good for some people. And do I fight this guy? Yes. I was hoping. I was hoping petrification specifically would... Uh, would prevent it from popping. Ooh, Icebreaker. Not the most useful, but it's a good stat stick for what I'm doing. So if you haven't seen Ring of Pain before, Ring of Pain is... Ooh, Chaotic Underwear. Ah, oh, it's like the most generic thing I could get, but it always works out in my favor. How much do I hate myself? And yep, sure, we're doing it. Okay, this does mean most enemies are going to be faster than me for a while. All right. Pop the barrier, blow this guy up in my face, take no damage, get some stats. We want to probably grab some clarity here to get my healing potion healing up. Alright, I'm going to go this way. So Ring of Pain is a really unique roguelike where petrify, petrify on attack if attacking second in combat. Alright, we're going for a weird petrification build. Never done this before. Summons a random nest area creature. Interesting. Sure. Grab that. Do we blow this up in our face? Sure. Alright, grab that and we can go volatile. Hope for the best. We'll see see what happens. Uh really interesting roguelike where you're effectively just going left or right and oh boy. Alright, I'm just gonna stay with the heck away from that. Um, hmm. The only problem is this... Yeah, let's go for the defense. I just want to be able to eat hits. The problem is my parry stat is particularly low, but I'll make it work. Okay, so all you do is go right or left and make some decisions based on that. You know, are you going to fight the, this monster? Are you going to pick up this item? Um, and so on and so forth. So, Buckler, I'm going to re-roll these. Explosions heal, gain no health from potions. That's tough. All of these are tough. Ensure... Ensnare past creatures on successful stealth. It's not big. I'm going to go for another one. Hand of Dog. Or Grasping Claws. I'm going to go for the Grasping Claws. First reroll being free is actually pretty helpful. Alright, we've got a big health potion over here. I don't think I'm going to want to fight either of these guys. Because I could do this, but I'm full health. I'm in a good spot. So, yeah. I mean, honestly, what you see is what you get. It's mostly about how you utilize your time. And what items you pick up. This is neat. Uh, guaranteed stealth for the next three. Freeze all front cards. Or I'm going to go for a shadow step. I don't stealth much. Right, let's go left and right. This guy's going to pop on me. But if I go here, we go stealth. I haven't even used the stealth thing yet. Oh, hold up. You ain't getting away from me. I see you there. Perfect. All right. And let's just give myself some damage. There we go. It's very hard to describe this game. Effectively, it's just purely making choices and then uh, figuring out which works best. Soul damage to a random enemy on attack. Yes. Main reason being, the more clarity we have, the more soul gain I get, the more currency. Um, it's actually pretty helpful. I'm just going to go past this. Grab this. Because it also, uh, this is a cursed scroll. There's a chance for this one to fizzle and give me something bad. 
Uh, but not so much here. How much is this guy worth? Seven. You know what? We got two big, big health potions in the area. I might as well just quaff. All right, we're good. Yeah, it's just about choices in building, but it gets really complicated. Intimidate creature on attack. Too expensive for me, and I'm not going for the other thing. You're terrifying. Um. This is tough. Yeah, it's gonna blow up on my face a bit. I should have actually maybe hung out in that immediate area. It's fine. It's probably fine. Because if I'm lucky, the soul damage will just kill this sucker from afar. There it goes. Perfect. Alright, so I'm gonna grab the extra stealth. Bonus health from health potions. That's tempting. Let's see. Yeah, so, once again, going back to the clarity explanation, uh, this is a 59% chance of healing me, or 41% chance of hurting me. So I don't actually want to take it. I do want to take this one, though, and see what I get. Uh, spoon? No. I... I know some people that do spoon runs. I am not good enough at this game for that. Uh, corruption is a no-go. Problem is, I like an amount of these things that I'm rolling. And so, this actually helps me a lot, but I'm going to go for the eyeballs. Grab this. I'm going to grab stone skin. I can give up max health here a little bit. Burial grounds? Burial grounds yeah, has rarely screwed me, so we might as well go here. Because we got this friendo. I actually don't see the other friend out. Sometimes there's like a really big dude that just kind of hangs out in this immediate area. And it's kind of spooky. Gain a little bit of defense. Do we pop this open? Yeah, there's a couple of things we could still get. Timeless is okay. Ferocity. Grabby hands would be a problem. If I replace the underwear on my head, then I'm in trouble. Why do I always just end up wearing underwear on my head whenever I play this game? I don't know, man. Alright, we're good. I'm gonna keep bumping that clarity. High clarity goes so far. Soul damage to a target gain double souls if the target is killed. Really useful. Okay. I don't know if I've killed him. How much? Because it's 9 out of 12. I've only done 3 damage to him, but I've petrified him for 4. So he's got 5, but he's only worth 6 souls to begin with, so we're just going to hit him. Whereas the snake is worth 6 souls. Let's just kill it. I'll take it. It's a boon in, a, in and of itself. Alright, we're good. So what do we want to do? Extra damage to spell? No. After spell use? No. Quick draw gloves? See, my problem with the after spell use gain speed, I don't know if that's a permanent perk or not. I'm gonna go tasty beans. Okay, we quaff. So we can do a crossroads or we can do a volatile. I'm just going to do volatile because that's where I would have ended up anyway. Um, yeah, there's like one or two others that would actually be pretty good. But still. Just grab another stone skin and... Sneak past this guy. Let that go. He dead. Oh, perfect. And yeah, this is why I wanted the petrification damage. Uh, so this one's gonna poison me, which is something I'd like to avoid. Unless... Shuffle the dungeon. Mm, it's okay. Ooh. This is gonna hurt my speed, but give me a lot of damage. Which means... This guy's still faster than me. 
Oh, there's just two of them. Let's grab the defense. Faster than these guys, though. Okay, let's take a look at this. How much damage are you going to do? Enough that it's scary. I'm going to quaff. We're going to shuffle. Grab the item. Bad. Both are bad. Glass sword. Destroy item on attack. Take two damage. Interesting. Terrible. Infected necklace. Inflict ten poison on yourself. Terrifying. Hand of dog. I mean, purity isn't bad too, but... I like hand of dog. So this guy is still faster than me. Do I fight him? Oh, we dodged it. Hell yeah. Perfect. We even exploded the bomb. Everything is going my way. And then some. Alright, what do you got for me? Because we're trying to be really slow here. I... Ooh. Two soul damage. Yeah, let's grab the soul torch. Okay, he's going to blow up. Everything is exploding. Okay, I didn't... He didn't get it... Uh, he did not get away. Word for a second. I really should probably start investing in HP a little bit. It's more... Defense. So I'm faster than the snake. I can kill him, and we're good. Hey, and let's get my defense back up at the cost of speed, which is fine, because that's what I want. Replenish that jar, and... We lose our Petrify on attack, but soul attacks deal plus three damage. Considering I have two things that give me soul attacks, soul charger becomes upsettingly good. I haven't done a soul damage build before. I'm kind of excited about this. Pairing attacks. Oh, pairing blocks incoming poison, which is good. Slows me down, but it's a shield. It would take up my soul, char soul charger slot. There's also ferocity. I think I'm just going to go for the potion. What we need is, like, maybe a mask and one other thing, but... Wow, that was an effective round. Let's grab this. Uh, Siphon Gem. Siphon Gem. Siphon Gem. Oh, thank you. So we lose our splash damage, but now we can grab the Strength Leech and then eat that too. Okay. And replenish? Don't mind if I do. Kill these guys. All right. We have a build. And honestly, at this point, let's go for the Reprieve. Because the other direction isn't going to help me anyway. Uh, damn, this would have been a good space for the Chugging Mask, but whatever. This feels familiar. Memories of fleeting things illuminate with light we bring. Cool. I don't know if they've added any more quote-unquote story stuff since. Hello. Dodge inflicts five curse... Damage to the creature dodged. It hurt. Ooh. Possessed robe. I've never done a dodge build. I know it's very viable, but not on this run. But at the same time, I kind of like it all the same. I'm going to grab it. That loss of clarity is a little rough, but I'll make do. Uh, I don't like this. Ooh, take half damage from melee attacks. Neat. It's just... Let that go for a bit. Half damage from melee attack. So it would hurt my defense a bit. And my dodge. Give me the clear... Mm, yeah, sure. Amorphous mass. The main thing is it also slows me down, which is really big. Um, I'm just going to kill this guy. Oh, no. I killed, killed the other guy. It's fine. Quaff the potion. Uh, my defense is starting to dip a little bit. But you know what's dipping further? My health. I got to get that back up a bit. So do I want to go treasure? I don't have a whole lot of purples. I could I could swing it. Uh, let's see. It doubles your clarity, which would actually be kind of bad here. Can I, can I use this right now? Damn it. Ah, that would have been bad. Merchant, reduce hold prices by 20, uh, 2 defense, 4 clarity. 
And I can remember to actually eat that gem this time. I forget more often than I care to, admittedly. It's bad. Fountain of Life, Position to Strike, or Reckless. Position to Strike. This one gets kind of funky, but I should be fine. Let's see, he's only got eight. Oh, but I can do three, and then I can eat him. Uh, what does Breathless Snare do? I forget, but I can destroy it. I can destroy most things at this point. I'm the slowest thing here, which means, conversely, I'm actually the fastest man on the level. Position to strike my Tukis. Tasty beans. Sadistic will. None of these are that great. Dungeons have extra cards, like, is actually kind of decent. Ah, uh, these Mimic Friend is also good. Or, no, creatures killed by Petrify do Petrify to all neighbors. That would be good if I did more Petrify damage, but currently it's my bindings and they're not even that good anymore. Freeze on parry, intimidate creature on attack. I mean, Power Glove is actually better than Hand of Dog, kind of. Hoping for is a gem. There we go. Lose some defense, gain some other stats, I'll take it. And um, then we've got the one enemy position to strike here. Ooh. Destroy an item or mimic card to gain half its soul cost. There we go. Do I want to just... Let's just eat this. I'll take it while I go by. Okay. I guess, first off, what do we got? Let's grab the healing scroll. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference here. Okay. Merchant's going to escape. No, he's not. He's running away from me. Spinebreaker. I have no idea what that is for, but I will take it and then some. Um, I have more defense. I want to be able to tank some hits. 75% chance of getting a stat? Yeah, we're good. The more defense. This is a plus two. Let's go for more clarity. I'm just going to keep stacking clarity like nobody's business. Come on, give me a gem. Intimidate creature on attack. This one might be nice, but it would give me some speed, which is kind of hit and miss. I mean, it's good. Nefarious. Heal three for each negative point of clarity on dungeon exit. But, I mean, good stats. Ish. As long as it's a net positive, I'll take it. I will eat rocks. And it will make me strong. Ah, screw it. I can just do this. I heal plenty. Oh right, this is unstable ground. Well, I killed the merchant. Here's the question. Can I kill this guy? Yeah, actually. Normally this guy's a little spooky, but... I have become redonkulous. And nothing can stop me. The only thing is I don't heal on attack or anything like that, which would be nice, but not huge. Let's see. Skip creature on attack. Tipping point. No. We're looking for gems. I'm just going to keep eating gems. Free stats. That's my clarity at. Pretty good. What's my health at? Actually, pretty great. Oh, let's grab a legendary. Really got to do the run where I don't actually grab those. Freeze creature when hit. I mean, yeah, I have to. That jettisons me from being pretty damn strong to, I think, unbeatable. Pop that, create a dungeon, uh, an exit card. That's really useful for a couple of things. Avoiding enemy attacks and targeted, targeted spells inflict petrify to a creature. Tempting. But it would replace my underwear. Neither of these are good. Farewell. I don't think I can freeze these guys. 
Not that I would expect to. Now this is... Oh, freeze creature when hit. So it's when they hit me. I'm just gonna clear everybody else out. Ow. And less ow. I'm pretty strong. Keep pushing the clarity a little bit further. I want to get this up to 100%, which I don't remember what stat level that is. I can almost kill him. Ah, eh, whatever. It's like two poison. Oh, we got him anyway. Hell yeah. Alright, and do you have a gem for me? The thing is, like, I have a near perfect build. Hey, reduced curse resistance. No, I'm sorry. That's not what's happening here. Okay, these are pretty boring. I'm gonna try creating one of these. Gets me a crossroads. That's why I like the created dungeon exit, because what I'm trying to do is extend this run for as long as possible. Volatile or overwhelm? Let's go overwhelm. Because the longer the run, the stronger I get. The stronger I get, the more ridiculous everything goes. So I guess I'm gonna get shot here, but it's fine. I just want to kill this guy. There we go. I don't think I have a whole lot to worry about, but it's still something to consider. Uh, nah. Front cards are the same creature type. Freeze and kill them. Huh, I've never seen seeing double before. Neat. Poison on attack. Devolve creature on attack. Hell yeah, I'll just eat it. There's probably better legendary items I could get, but at the same time, my stats are so ridiculously high that why not? My entire goal here is just to get as many gems as I can. I'll lose the clarity. It's fine. And we might as well not pick that up because I don't have a book charge. I'll only get those back by fighting. that go. I don't want it. I don't want anything to do with it. Right, let's eat that gem. Now yeah, I've got tons of HP as a result of eating endless rocks. Oh. Dog just leaves. All right, we got a gem? Um no. If we get anything that gives me soul damage, I'll be super happy. Let's grab the restrained heart. That could kill me. Both of these could. It's a low chance. Chug a lug, hope for the best. Alright, we're good. And I still don't have a rock to eat. I will just burn a lot of soul trying to find rock to eat. This has become untenably expensive. Discard both. Well, that sucks. Overwhelm. It's fine. Like I said, my build is kind of done, so I have a lot of flexibility in what I can do here. Ooh. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna get poisoned here. Guess I only get poisoned a bit. Hello, sir. I'm only a little hurt. Hardly a problem. There we go. What else do we have? Ooh, salvage. Useful for potentially getting rid of something. Grab this. There it is. Sight Sphere. Yum, yum, yum. Keep eating rocks. Never stop munching rocks. Now, do I want to try and buy a legendary item? It's kind of expensive. Let's just salvage it. <laughs> this is like the only run where that's even remotely smart. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, uh, damn it. It's after spell use. Do soul damage to front cards. I mean, admittedly, the Soul Torch ain't that much better, but I still would rather have the Soul Torch. Let's keep grabbing some clarity here. I do... Why did I do this? Okay. We paired him twice. Everything is good. Create two Cursed Potions as front cards. Interesting? I mean, in this situation, it's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> I'll explode those. Alright, now I've got gobs of stuff. Quaff. 
And what do we get? The keyword is gem. There are. Now, do I go for a legendary item? I might as well. There's a couple that are good. Uh, ooh. Doubles your clarity, which gets really silly really fast. Or petrify on attack per four health. That's plus 10 petrify to hits. Like, that's good. Freezing aura is okay. But I'm going to go Skirt of Visions. I don't even want to do that one. Companions. I've got Hand of Dog. Please be dog not... Oh, it's this guy. I have gift on one condition. Quench the thirst. It's your audition. Weakness is a curse as well. Do not worry. I won't tell. I, be I bear no frogs. I couldn't. I witnessed into darkness and perhaps reflect on your intent. Die! I know he gives items, but <laughs> whatever. Instability. Tax inflict a random status effect. Would be useful if, you know, I wanted speed for anything, but I don't. I... The stupid chaotic underwear is such a game-changing item. I really got to stop picking it up because I only seem to pick it up, but at the same time, it is beyond busted. Let's just kind of chill for a bit. I guess I should probably go hunt some items down now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, what do we got? We do have an upgrade. That's good. We'll wait. Uh, well, my clarity is absurd now, so I no longer have to worry. There are no items on this level. Oh, there are not. There's a black hole, though. I need to go kill it. And no items. Weird. Lots of potions. Chug a lug, chug a lug. Alright. Now, do we fight the owl? Hey, fighting the owl is certainly faster. Let's see. What happens when the light shines bright? A world of beauty made anew for us to roam through, me and you. I used to have a better voice for him, but I can't do it right now. This winter has been a little hard on my voice. So if I fight the owl, this run is done quick. But there seemed to be something interesting in the darkness. So I think we want to go there. I don't have any rocks to eat. Here's the sad part. Hitting this guy. Ow. I see. That's what happened. Whatever. Honestly, might as well just grab the defense as I go by. There we go. Uh, let's gain, let's gain some clarity in this situation. Uh, let's see. So I still have upgrade. Oh, here's the big downside to upgrade. It is going to beast my speed up. So I might want to get rid of this hat. Because I'm going to gain... How much is it? Is that 30 stat points? I think that is 30 stat points. It's not a bad idea. I could wait, but let's not. Let's find a new hat. Ooh, that's really good. Problem is, none of this is new hat. Okay, let's go talk to the owl. Not that it does anything. Preve, well, gives me stats. Gonna, gonna keep getting this. Probably give myself just some max HP here. And then stay away from the big explody man. I might have to... Let's kill you. Hmm. 
I might have to do a lot of things. We will see. Create a random potion on kill. Every four kills. Well, that's kind of neat, actually. But I need a new hat. Heal five on crit. I mean... That's really good. Fainting token sounds interesting, though. Let's grab it. That sounds ob that's obscenely good. Because here's the thing. Now I can hit bombs. Hell yeah. It looks like they will hit me back, but I won't get exploded. It is kind of big, actually. Cost me a little little bit of space here, but still. Give me hat. Clarity when you, whenever you transform a creature. I'm just going to take it now. Uh, we've got one creature left on the map. It's fine. My speed is zero. It's okay. we got some things I can work with. One, I can start picking up speed. Done the entire run without any speed, and it is kind of silly. Uh, I like this better. All right. And do we pop the upgrade now? Or later. Let's pop it now. Okay, so I'm at 12 speed. It's not perfect, but it's something. Let's grab the Bombard. I'm gonna leave the instability. We're gonna go to the Volatile. This run is still going, but it's almost done. We're, pr we're pretty close. Okay. This guy hurts me, but only a bit. Actually, did he even? I don't think so. Yeah, so I don't quite like the fainting token. It's good. It would work really well with the... Oh, there's an upgrade here. I'm actually just going to fight him. Sure. I'll grab it. Unstable tome. Chance to destroy spellbooks on use. Oh, no. All spellbooks have combat cooldown 1. Interesting. Probably not great. Splash da- Ooh, splash damage is good. Let's go for this. I've got a ton of health. So ascend ascension becomes kind of nutty. Now let's get out of here. Alright, what are we doing? Oh boy. This looks fun. We'll blow him up. There we go. So we still need a bit of speed. We need a lot of things. But here's here's the deal. I am sufficiently ridiculous now. Here, we might as well light these as we go by. Though we want to make sure we don't leave too early. Wow, oh, there's a lot of these guys. Well, it's okay. Grab these. Oh, shoot. I think I did it too early. It's fine. Nope. Okay, I didn't do, do it too early. So let's eat the gem. Anything else? No. So I'm going to grab... I'm just going to pop that. That doesn't do me any good. Grab the upgrade. And we're going to sit on it for a while. Maybe. Okay, light the tower. I'm pretty sure if I... Gosh, I forget. I'm pretty sure if it's Ignite, that makes us do dark stuff. Let's see, how do I end this? Hunt the shadow darkness fragments, path revealing in their absence. Yeah, so now we go to the dark realm where we fight, I think, ourselves. Can you tell it's been a little while since I've played some Ring of Pain? It's fine. Okay. The main thing is, if I remember right, there's like no loot around here. It's just mostly potions. Here's the thing though. I'm on a rampage. Gain some more speed just because. 
Even more speed. There we go. It's good. Nothing else. Gain some stats. Uh, we want to gain health here. And we have nothing else to grab. Onwards. Ah, uh, this one? I don't know. I've made my choice. Yes, you've chosen. I can see. Do this and you can't be free. A cryptic is always. I don't know. I'm sure there's probably like a, a point to all of this, but... Ooh, soul stash. Uh, let's see. Probably hit this one. We gotta get closer to the boss. Because we want to get it before it takes too many of my stats? I think it takes my stats. Grab that. Skip them. Pop them all. Get him. Alright. Is everything good? Eh, mostly. Alright. More health. I'm just gonna pump my HP up. Okay. That has some kind of interesting scrolls. Wow. I guess I'm still not fast enough. Oh, it makes sense, though. Alright, another stat up. More HP. Do we pop this? Sure. Why not? How many stats can I even get out of this? Quite a lot, in fact. Beautiful. I am Hale and I am Hardy. Unlock a chest? Sure. I'm pretty sure that doesn't do anything for me. But it's okay. Like I said, we're on the ra rampage. We're on the warpath. Eating rocks was the right decision. We're coming. Hurry then, I do await. We'll both be facing the same face. I wonder if there is an actual new ending here. Ooh, you look funky. Uh, let's see, I have no gems to eat. What is your special effect? Trait Discipline. Creatures are resistant to status effects, boss creature, cool. Okay, so here's the thing, I actually kind of want that to blow up. Well, I killed the boss. Cool, I'll take it. More HP, more HP. I wish there was still loot in this area. I'd probably like to get rid of the that item, just because. I think it's nice to have the retreat, but at this point, we don't need it. Uh, let's see, Curse Bounty. I don't think I have any chests to open up, so I guess I'm just going to grab this. Look at all these potions. It's like they expect me to be taking damage or something. <laughs> Leave me. I cannot leave you. You know this well. You pay no heed to what I tell. Why are they all frozen? I have no idea. Probably a result of the boss. I'm just gonna quaff and chug and do whatever. Nothing can stop me anyway. I mean, there's like a mild possibility that I'm gonna take damage from something, but I sincerely doubt it. I even have backup builds. The whole petrify uh, enemies on uh, on taking a healing potion would be really useful if I took damage. I'm just going to chug every potion. I am going to be chugged out here. You'll never consume me. I have already. We are one. The end is nigh and has begun. It does feel like they updated this section. Like it feels like there's more to this. I guess I might as well just be taking some of these. There we go. You cannot escape me. You may try, but you cannot. More HP. More HP. I will be the hailest, the hardiest, the... What is that? Oh, hi. Um, sure. The boss hide, hides things from me, and I don't like it. Oh, these are just... It's all potions. It's all potions all the way down. Except for stat point. There we go. Alright. So are we good? Is that it? Or not? 
I hate you. Darkness is just self-reflection. Anger comes from your selection. Die. Is that how it usually ends? I did it. Deliverance, a life bereaved. Together bound, we have achieved. Nope. And so a part of you you thought you knew, a part reflected back at you. Too much to bear and put to rest. Again suppressed, and here we nest. Oh, that's the owl. Ring of pain. I love this game. I love how short the runs are, too. So, cycle is complete again. I wonder if there's new content, though. I mean, clearly what I should probably do... Oh! Was that a Darkstone run? Must have been. Because I still haven't done a whole lot of Lantern in the Ox. I totally forgot about Double Candle. Yeah, I got a lot of things I got to work on if I want to make this work. It feels like the Time Weaver has got to have... Maybe... A new boss? We will see. For now, though, I really enjoy this game. I can't wait to play more of it. It's... It's just simple fun. And it's always great to find, like, new busted builds. Admittedly, that one was pretty similar to a lot of the other ones I've had, but I've never done a, a pure soul blasting build before. And that was kind of fun to pull off. But for now, Ring of Pain has been available on Steam for a while. Update is available for everybody. It's a fantastic game. If you haven't played it yet, I highly recommend it. The game is 20 bucks at the moment, but I'm pretty sure it's going to go down to, to, I'd say, probably 16, 50. Man, I got hiccups right for the outro. 16, 15, or even down to $10 for the uh, Christmas sale coming up in, what, two weeks? So if you guys are interested in picking this game up, I'd recommend waiting until then, but I'd recommend picking it up all the same. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.